Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to get up my Sephora haul update before my next Sephora haul, which will be my sale haul. This is an update and review on all the products since my previous Sephora haul. If you haven't checked that out, this is whether I like them, didn't, return them, all that stuff, good and bad in this video. So you will see what worked, what didn't. And I cannot wait to go over all these products because we found some holy grail items, which You've probably heard me talk about already, but there's so much to go over. I did try and use all the products today on my face as well. So if you like what you see, it's an update on these products. So we're going to start with where I started in that haul. I kind of go in order that I do for those videos, or I try to. There were a ton of blush drops in my previous Sephora haul. So we have three blushes here to go over. The first being the Vosma blush, which I haven't had a chance to use in a try new makeup, but I am wearing it on my cheeks today. I love the color of this one. It is the cherry red shade, and it's not as intimidating as this looks. You can make it very pigmented, but mine's nicely sheared out and it's just the perfect flush to the cheeks. I love a cream red blush. It's one of my favorites to wear and I love this formula too because it's easy to blend out. It sticks on the skin. It's not too emollient in terms of the cream finish where it feels like it's sliding off. There is some grip to this one and I really like this formula. So also love the packaging too because it's interesting. It actually slides which I think is super unique. So love the formula of this. This is by far my favorite thing I've tried from Bosma and I'm curious to check out maybe more colors if you've tried one and you like and recommend, but I love a red blush. So, so happy to have this. I only had one other previous one and it was a little bit more emollient. This one has a little bit more grip to it, which I really like. And then I picked up one of the new shades in the LYS and I also really like this too. I was worried it would be too metallic and it does look more metallic the more you put on your skin, but I don't wear it full on pigment like this. I always blend it out. So you can see that metallic finish, which I don't care for. LYS is so pigmented and their price point is amazing. <laughs> I love the brand. So this is still even more than I would wear blended out. You can tell when you actually blend it out, it just looks more of a glow than overly metallic. It just honestly depends on how much you're applying to your skin. I'm light-handed when it comes to my makeup. You already know if you see my tutorials. <laughs> it sometimes looks like I barely put on any blush, but that's my preference. I like a light flush to the cheeks. And then my new Holy Grail blush, which you already know. So I'm not gonna go too long about this because I've talked about it so, so much. It's from Patrick Ta. I only picked up one of the new blushes and now I'm thinking I need to get the other two because I think Steph mentioned both of those ones in her Sephora sale recommendations and this is my favorite. And this is the shade Not Too Much. As I said, I don't like too much blush for me. So this color specifically is perfect for me in the sense that it's not in your face, very good for everyday wear, and it works for any sort of look. Even if I go ahead and do something more dramatic on the eyes and do an eye focus look, this is the sort of blush that I reach for because it goes with any sort of look and it's not too much, <laughs> like the name suggests. So it's the perfect name for this blush. Also tonally for this, if you've seen this in all my videos I've worn this, this is like the only video I'm not wearing it in <laughs> as of lately, this is the perfect tone for my skin. It just does something to brighten up my complexion and is super, super flattering. So if you can get your hands on this, people were saying it was sold out, which I am devastated about because I wanted you guys to get this on sale during the Sephora sale. But if you can get your hands on it, this is one of my number one recommendations. I already knew I love the formula of Patrick Ta, but this specific color for any blush ever is my favorite blush of all time. It is so good. I love it so much. It is just perfection for my skin tone. Two bronzers. One is kind of a regret now, even though I love it, you'll hear why. The first one, another Holy Grail product. Thank you for the recommendation for this. I'm obsessed with this formula. It's from House Labs. It is so good, it's their bronzer. I never picked these up when they initially launched because I'm very picky when it comes to bronzer, but this is literal perfection in both the formula and tone for me. I picked up medium level five and I definitely think I'm gonna pick up six as well just because I love the formula so much. I think six will be better come summer for me, but this one is perfect for my skin tone right now. I'm wearing this bronzer today as I'm wearing it every single day since I've got this. I love this because it is not patchy, it's super smooth, it doesn't look overdone on me and just blends into my skin really beautifully. The undertone is perfect. It has a little bit of a pinky red 
honestly undertone to it, which I personally find super flattering for my natural skin tone. I do lean more pink red, so this sort of tone actually flatters me quite well. Undertone formula, everything about this is perfection. The formula is just super blendable on the skin. I can't overdo this. It's never been patchy on me and always looks super natural for a bronzer on my skin. So as you can see, I have dug into it, both with a brush and obviously with my nail just now. <laughs> Truly dug into this bronzer. It is so good. So if you have not checked out this bronzer formula yet, it is essential. I love it so much and cannot recommend it enough. If you have not tried it, please, please do. Then this next bronzer, I do love the formula. It's just going too quickly for me. I think I have like a third left of this and I only had it for a month. <laughs> and I've been using the house labs pretty much every day. So the math ain't math and on this one, this is the Glossier Cloud Paint and it's in the shade Dune. I also use this in a trying new makeup. It's such a beautiful color for my skin tone. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand for you, but it is quite sheer. So that's why I have to use a lot. So this is it blended out nicely. You can see that warmth to it. You can see it compared to my other hand. It just gives a really seamless, beautiful bronze effect to the skin, but it's quite light. So you do have to use quite a bit for it to show up. It is a lighter shade. I could have done with maybe a darker one probably, and I wouldn't have had that issue. But the undertone of this one was my preference versus the ones that were deeper. So I just don't think I'm gonna be purchasing it again, though I am enjoying it as I'm using it. I never returned it. I do really like it. I think it's beautiful. It's just for the price and how fast I'm going through it. I'd rather, use my house labs because I fell in love with that bronzer and it's just why have other things <laughs> now that I've found house labs because it's that good to me. And then complexion, I have two things to go over. I mentioned this in my Sephora Rex video. I should have mentioned this for my Canadians, the other one, but we'll start here. This is the Iconic London Velvet Smooth Pore Refining Primer. This is beautiful if you have a pore issue like I do. I keep this on my T-zone and it just fills in that area while not drying out that area. I do believe this does have some oil control properties to it. I don't find this overdone and it's very similar to the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer, which I love, but I do feel like this is better for those of us who have normal leaning dry skin just because it's not as oil controlling as that one. This is more of a healthy smoothness to it as opposed to a drying one, which I don't have oil issue. I like my skin to glow. So if my skin's ever glowing, it's because of product, not because I am oily, because I have to add that to my skin, but this is perfect if you wanna smooth out any sort of pores. This has worked well with every single foundation I've put on top. I don't have any pilling or any sort of issue with this and any foundation I've used. Very easy to use product, not finicky. I know when I use this, it's not gonna make my makeup look all busted. It's been my go-to primer as of recently because I've been looking for something to replace my Huda Beauty Glowish, and this has been my alternative since that product is being discontinued. This foundation I didn't mention in my Rex video, and I should have, even though you can only get Morphe on Sephora Canada. Morphe you can get at Ulta if you're in the US, but for my fellow Canadians, for the sale, this foundation, it is gorgeous. It is the Morphe Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. It is what I'm wearing on my skin right now. It is beautiful. I have the shade Medium 11N. For whatever reason, this is just a little fun fact. If I get a foundation shade, it happens to be shade 11. It makes me super happy because that's my favorite number. Is that weird? If you ever get your foundation shade, it happens to be your favorite number. I don't know. There's something about that when my foundation shade falls on my favorite number, it just, it makes me happy. So I have my favorite number in this <laughs> foundation. I love the formula. It has a pump. Mine is messy because I've been using this. I love how this adapts to my skin tone. I feel like I can use this in a wide range of my self tan because some foundation, it doesn't adapt like this one. I feel like this one really is adaptive to my skin tone. So that's something that I love because it's a very versatile foundation if you've self tan because that's a problem that I face often. Also, this is very hydrating. It's very serum-like. So if you're familiar with the Laura Mercier foundation that's super popular, it goes on the skin like that. It's super, super thin, undetectable on the skin. It just looks like my skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup. It just looks like healthy, glowing skin that wears. It checks every single box. It's a good price because it's Morphe and I'm shocked. <laughs> I like a Morphe product as much as this. 
It truly blew me away. I love this foundation. So if you've not checked this one out yet, it's such a good one to check out, especially if you wanted to try the Laura Mercier one, which is really pricey. This is a more affordable option that I highly recommend. Next product I hauled was the Refi Mascara. I ended up returning that. Someone was telling me it's designed for your lower lashes, which I did find it worked better for those, but it was still very difficult for me to use because the curve on the wand did not fit my eye shape whatsoever. I wanna say it took me upwards of 10 minutes just to figure out how to do my eyes with that mascara and build it up because I could only use one tiny section of the wand just because of how it was bent. So I did end up returning that. It did not work out for me. I think if you had very curved eyes, it might be a little bit better for you. Just the wand for me was too innovative for it to actually work. It just was not made for my eye shape. So end up returning that. That was the only thing. And then I end up getting the new Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm and Birthday Cake. This is so good. My favorite one that Summer Fridays has done. I'm wearing it today, obviously. Have to put more on because it is so good. It smells so good. I was waiting for the moment I could reapply this to my lips. It's such a good formula. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, which the other ones that I have from Summer Fridays don't have. So I love that about it because it makes it even more glowy and it just smells good, feels good, looks good. I love the color of it. It checks all the boxes. Again, it's my favorite one that Summer Fridays has done. And I'm really excited to see them do more shimmer ones like this because I'm a big fan. So if this is in stock during the sale, definitely get it, 100% recommend. I think everyone can use a lip balm. It's good if you don't wear makeup, wear makeup, whatever, throw in a lip balm, at least your lips are gonna be hydrated. <laughs> and then of course, got a new shade in the Sephora Colorful Luminizer and Sparkling Honey. My favorite highlight to date for the tone of this it is so beautiful. I have it on my cheeks today, my nose as well. It just blends in with my skin, it makes my skin have that wet look, which I love. It's the perfect formula, perfect undertone. Highly recommend 30% off during the Sephora sale. Run and get that if you can. If you're similar to my skin tone, it is made for us. They do have other shades as well. I had Ice Pearl that works when I'm more fair, still beautiful highlight, but just specifically that shade, Sparkling Honey, I've never come across a shade that matches me more perfectly than that shade. Then I have a lip liner that I got half price from Sephora Collection. It's in the shade Monarch, and it is a beautiful brown shade with a hint of a reddish undertone. It kind of looks like, honestly, my House Labs bronzer, but in a lip liner form. It is such a good undertone for me and I think that's why I gravitate towards it because it's super flattering for my skin. This Sephora haul was all about undertones for me. I literally found perfect undertones for my skin during this haul. It's blowing me away <laughs> to round everything up and just see how truly perfect some of these things that I picked up were. So that was Monarch. I love the formula of Sephora Collection. You don't have to sharpen them. They do twist up. They're the retractable one. It's supposed to be prime daylight hours. I'm so sorry it got so dark, but it's about to storm outside. It is a retractable pencil, which is lovely. And if you want to make it less dull, which I don't even bother with, you can actually sharpen the product. You don't have to sharpen the packaging. I didn't even know they had that until recently. So I just wanted to show you if you did not know already, cause I know I had some people asking me how you sharpen this pencil. I don't. And then I picked up another of the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascaras. I love this. This isn't new for me. This was a repurchase. I don't usually talk about the things that I've repurchased, but I highly recommend this. They have MAC on Sephora Canada. And if you wanted to know, I did pick up the new MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. So I will be doing a review on that in case you're curious because they reformulated it. I'm so curious. MAC is making a comeback for me. I'm very excited to try new Studio Fix. If you were hoping I would do a review on that, I got you covered. <laughs> I picked it up already. And then I got a sample of the Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. I like this more than when I initially tried it. I do think it's good as a primer for makeup. I wouldn't use it as skincare myself, but I like the kind of tack it gives and the glow to the skin. However, it is kind of pricey, so that's probably what's steering me off purchasing a full size of this, but I like the little samples and I do really like Charlotte Tilbury's skincare products, so it worked out for me, but will I decide to buy the full size? Probably not just due to the price. And I have other primers that I really, really like as well. It would be a nice to have, but not necessary. We'll see if I buy it in the future, but 
Still have a little bit of my sample left and I've been enjoying using it and I think it works as a really nice primer. So I can see why people really love it as a primer. That is it for my Sephora haul update. I hope this helps you out. If you were interested in any of these products prior to the Sephora sale, this is my final review on them and so many that are holy grails that I've been loving. It was a really great month. Minus that one mascara, it wasn't that bad though, but still I wouldn't recommend picking it up. So a really, really good month for my update. So excited for these products. And if you decide to check out any of these, let me know if you've tried them, your thoughts, your reviews. I love to know what you guys think as well. And again, if there's anything you want me to pick up prior to the Sephora sale, please let me know because I will be shopping it on April 5th. I cannot wait to do my next haul for you guys and show you what I get during the Sephora sale. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. And if you've not already, I'd absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos. I'll see you guys in my next one.